I'm okay over here at the mill. Uh, we got our uh, locking pieces here. So I blue sharpied that. And I didn't I didn't film it because it's pretty simple. I blue sharpied this. I took it to the surface plate. I took a height gauge. So I had it sitting uh, parallel to the surface plate. Uh, in a v, I had it sitting in a V block. And I just and I just I lined it up with the center there where there's a tiny little tit still on it from uh, turning it. And I just scribed the line there and then on the side. So that this is the line I need to know. This line, you know, is parallel with the axis and in line with the, you know, radially also with the axis of the piece. Now, I'm making this way more accurate than it needs to be made. Uh, just so you guys know. This is, but th this was an interesting little setup. Because I want the, the point of the of the uh, notch we're going to cut, I want it on the center center line. And that's how this, this one seems to be made. And looking up in the hole, and that looks like the correct alignment. So, I made a drawing. You know, zoom out here. A little bit. So I made a drawing of the piece, and but I'm going to do a bit, make this a little, make this a little bit different, and I'm going to put a three sixteenths hole at the bottom of the notch for the point of the dovetail to fit into. But anyway, this is fifteen here, fifteen degrees over off of the center line as far as being square, right? This is not square. This this edge. That's going to be my bottom of my dovetail cutter. So I have my piece in the vise over here set at 15 degrees. Like I say, we're doing this probably way more accurate than it really needs to be done. Um, so what I have here is I have a big parallel sitting in here. I have a V block and I have a, my one of my little angle blocks. So this is this is a ten de, this is my ten degree block. It says ten degrees on I wrote on there for you. I don't have them stamped yet. That's I haven't stamped them yet. Anyway, this is my little ten degree one. Well, that's a fifteen degree one. I have in there. So it's just set in there like that. This is set on that, and this is tight against the vise. And it seems to be really rigid. So I think this is going to work. Uh, the brass is pretty easy to cut. So that's, uh, that's the setup. So this is now 15 degrees. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the... So, uh, okay, so I had to make this uh, level. This line here basically parallel with the table. So I just put this up here and lined it up with one edge and saw how high off I was or how much off I was over there. And I turned it a touch until the alignment of the height gauge was the same on each side. Close enough. So now when I get my dovetail cutter, it's going to come down square. And I'm going to I'm going to come in here about I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to try to do this all in one cut actually and maybe then have a finished cut. I'm going to take most of that that depth of the cutter and I'm going to line the, the, the point of this on the center line scribe mark. You know, as I'm going to move it. I'm going to bring it up here. I'm going to, I'm going to move it in and align it for the height on the, on the center line scribe mark. That's going to put me with a point close to the center line like I want. And it can be 15 degrees cut here. And then the rest of it will be over here. If the, uh, what, 45 degrees on the other side of the line, basically. So that's the plan. Uh, when you see when you see me doing it, 
you're going to understand how I'm going to align that up. Let's see here. Maybe I can get this a little better. So I brought the mill in, I got the cutter in, and what I did is I aligned that point right there on that scribe line. If you look straight in at it, uh, you guys are a little bit off. I think you're a little tiny bit off, but anyway, I have it uh, aligned on that scribe point at the point of contact. When you turn that right where at the point of contact is. And that's where we're going to make the cut. Okay, we're ready to try this out. I'll, so, uh, <laughs> let's see how this goes. That's 1850 RPM and I'm just hand feeding it. Looking pretty good so far. Go a little deeper. That's a that's a cut. Yeah, beautiful actually. That worked really well. That yeah, came out real well. Very nice. Okay, there we go. Well, we'll uh, we'll get the other one set up in there. We'll do the same. Okay, I just took it out. Try to. Give you an idea what that looks like. I think that looks uh, pretty darn darn good. Let's see if I can show you. The, you see, yeah, it's hard to tell. See that scribe line, and yeah, we'll see it when it's all done. So I uh, have the V-block in here. This is the five degree uh, angle plate. I set it on end against here like that. Set it over five degrees. This is in here and I indicate it in this face. So we're uh, about a half a thousandth I think, uh, maybe less. Oops, I moved it. Yeah, quarter thousand, couple two three tenths. So we're we're good on our alignment this way and our angle. All right, I have an eighth inch end mill in here. And I set, lined up the center line with that center scribe line. So it's splitting the difference along the axis. 
and we're just going to go through there and we're gonna take out oh an eighth of an inch down in there so that's to give her the point of that duck the dovetail piece on the lathe, uh, a little clearance. Doing good. Maybe one more cut. One of the problems I think with the other one is that there was no clearance for that tip to go in there, so the other the sides of it wore, so just the tip was hitting, and uh, you weren't getting any good clamping action. That's what it looks like on those other ones. Well, I want to make sure you got plenty of tip clearance here. Plus, we're using a lot harder material, so it should work a lot better than the other aluminum that was in there. I went down 200,000 from uh, when I first made contact. And I think that's going to be... Oh, I think that'll be plenty. Plenty, I think. I think that's gonna look good. We did a little deeper on there, and we'll uh, test them up in there. <laughs> 